Bioinformatics from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, at en.wikipedia.org. This recording was last updated on September 20th, 2013. Bioinformatics is an interdisciplinary field that develops and improves on methods for storing, retrieving, organizing, and analyzing biological data. A major activity in bioinformatics is to develop software tools to generate useful biological knowledge. Bioinformatics uses many areas of computer science, mathematics, and engineering to process biological data. Complex machines are used to read in biological data at a much faster rate than before. Databases and information systems are used to store and organize biological data. Analyzing biological data may involve algorithms in artificial intelligence, soft computing, data mining, image processing, and simulation. The algorithms, in turn, depend on theoretical foundations such as discrete mathematics, control theory, system theory, information theory, and statistics. Commonly used software tools and technologies in the field include Java, C Sharp, XML, Perl, C, C++, Python, R, SQL, CUDA, MATLAB, and spreadsheet applications. Contents Section 1 – Introduction Section 2 – Major Research Areas Section 3 – Software and Tools Section 4 – Conferences Section 1 – Introduction Section 1.1 – History Building on the recognition of the importance of information transmission, accumulation, and processing in biological systems, in 1970, Pauline Hodgweg coined the term bioinformatics to refer to the study of information processes in biotic systems. This definition placed bioinformatics as a field parallel to biophysics, the study of physical processes in biological systems, or biochemistry, the study of chemical processes in biological systems. Examples of relevant biological information processes studied in the early days of bioinformatics are the formation of complex social interaction structures by simple behavioral rules, and the information accumulation and maintenance in models of prebiotic evolution. One early contributor to bioinformatics was Elvin A. Kabat, who pioneered biological sequence analysis in 1970 with his comprehensive volumes of antibody sequences released with Ta Wei Wu between 1980 and 1991. Another significant pioneer in the field was Margaret Oakley Dayhoff, who has been hailed by David Lippmann, director of the National Center for Biotechnology Information, as, quote, the mother and father of bioinformatics. At the beginning of the genomic revolution, the term bioinformatics was rediscovered to refer to the creation and maintenance of a database to store biological information such as nucleotide sequences and amino acid sequences. Development of this type of database involved not only design issues, but the development of complex interfaces, whereby researchers could access existing data as well as submit new or revised data. Section 1.2 Goals In order to study how normal cellular activities are altered in different disease states, the biological data must be combined to form a comprehensive picture of these activities. Therefore, the field of bioinformatics has evolved such that the most pressing task now involves the analysis and interpretation of various types of data including nucleotide and amino acid sequences, protein domains, and protein structures. The actual process of analyzing and interpreting data is referred to as computational biology. Important subdisciplines within bioinformatics and computational biology include the development and implementation of tools that enable efficient access to and use and management of various types of information, and the development of new algorithms, mathematical formulas, and statistics with which to assess relationships among members of large datasets, 
such as methods to locate a gene within a sequence, predict protein structure and or function, and cluster protein sequences into families of related sequences. The primary goal of bioinformatics is to increase the understanding of biological processes. What sets it apart from other approaches, however, is its focus on developing and applying computationally intensive techniques to achieve this goal. Examples include pattern recognition, data mining, machine learning algorithms, and visualization. Major research efforts in this field include sequence alignment, gene finding, genome assembly, drug design, drug discovery, protein structure alignment, protein structure prediction, prediction of gene expression and protein-protein interactions, genome-wide association studies, and the modeling of evolution. Bioinformatics now entails the creation and advancement of databases, algorithms, computational and statistical techniques, and theory to solve formal and practical problems arising from the management and analysis of biological data. Over the past few decades, rapid developments in genomic and other molecular research technologies and developments in information technologies have combined to produce a tremendous amount of information related to molecular biology. Bioinformatics is the name given to these mathematical and computing approaches used to glean understanding of biological processes. Section 1.3 Approaches Common activities in bioinformatics include mapping and analyzing DNA and protein sequences, aligning different DNA and protein sequences to compare them, and creating and viewing 3D models of protein structures. There are two fundamental ways of modeling a biological system, i.e. a living cell, both coming under bioinformatic approaches. 1. Static Sequences proteins, nucleic acids, and peptides. Interaction data among the above entities, including microarray data and networks of proteins and metabolites. 2. Dynamic. Structures. Proteins, nucleic acids, ligands, including metabolites and drugs, and peptides. Structures studied with bioinformatics tools are not considered static anymore and their dynamics is often the core of the structural studies. Systems biology comes under this category, including reaction fluxes and variable concentrations of metabolites. Multi-agent-based modeling approaches capturing cellular events, such as signaling, transcription, and reaction dynamics. A broad subcategory under bioinformatics is structural bioinformatics. Section 2. Major Research Areas Bioinformatics has become an important part of many areas of biology. In experimental molecular biology, bioinformatics techniques such as image and signal processing allow extraction of useful results from large amounts of raw data. In the field of genetics and genomics, it aids in sequencing and annotating genomes and their observed mutations. It plays a role in the textual mining of biological literature and the development of biological and gene ontologies to organize and query biological data. It plays a role in the analysis of genes and protein expression and regulation. Bioinformatics tools aid in the comparison of genetic and genomic data and, more generally, in the understanding of evolutionary aspects of molecular biology. At a more integrative level, it helps analyze and catalog the biological pathways and networks that are an important part of systems biology. In structural biology, it aids in the simulation and modeling of DNA, RNA, and protein structures, as well as molecular interactions. Section 2.1 Sequence Analysis Since the phage Phyx-174 was sequenced in 1977, the DNA sequences of thousands of organisms have been decoded and stored in databases. This sequence information is analyzed to determine genes that encode polypeptides, proteins, RNA genes, 
regulatory sequences, structural motifs, and repetitive sequences. A comparison of genes within a species or between different species can show similarities between protein functions or relations between species, the use of molecular systematics to construct phylogenetic trees. With the growing amount of data, it long ago became impractical to analyze DNA sequences manually. Today, computer programs such as a BLAST are used daily to search sequences from more than 260,000 organisms, containing over 190 billion nucleotides. These programs can compensate for mutations, exchanged, deleted, or inserted bases in the DNA sequence to identify sequences that are related but not identical. A variant of this sequence alignment is used in the sequencing process itself. The so-called shotgun sequencing technique, which was used, for example, by the Institute for Genomic Research to sequence the first bacterial genome, Haemophilus influenzae, does not produce entire chromosomes, but instead generates the sequences of many thousands of small DNA fragments, ranging from 35 to 900 nucleotides long, depending on the sequencing technology. The ends of these fragments overlap, and, when aligned properly by a genome assembly program, can be used to reconstruct the complete genome. Shotgun sequencing yields sequence data quickly, but the task of assembling the fragments can be quite complicated for larger genomes. For a genome as large as the human genome, it may take many days of CPU time on large memory multiprocessor computers to assemble the fragments, and the resulting assembly will usually contain numerous gaps that have to be filled in later. Shotgun sequencing is the method of choice for virtually all genomes sequenced today, and genome assembly algorithms are a critical area of bioinformatics research. Another aspect of bioinformatics in sequence analysis is annotation, which involves computational gene finding to search for protein coding genes, RNA genes, and other functional sequences within a genome. Not all of the nucleotides within a genome are part of genes. Within the genome of higher organisms, large parts of the DNA do not serve any obvious purpose. This so-called junk DNA may, however, contain unrecognized functional elements. Bioinformatics helps to bridge the gap between genome and proteinome projects, for example, in the use of DNA sequences for protein identification. Section 2.2 Genome Annotation In the context of genomics, annotation is the process of marking the genes and other biological features in a DNA sequence. The first genome annotation software system was designed in 1995 by Dr. Owen White, who was part of the team at the Institute for Genomic Research that sequenced and analyzed the first genome of a free living organism to be decoded the bacterium Haemophilus influenzae. White built a software system to find the genes, fragments of genomic sequence that encode proteins, the transfer RNAs, and to make initial assignments of function to those genes. Most current genome annotation systems work similarly, but the programs available for analysis of genomic DNA, such as the GeneMark program, trained and used to find protein coding genes in Haemophilus influenzae are constantly changing and improving. Section 2.3 Computational Evolutionary Biology Evolutionary biology is the study of the origin and descent of species, as well as their change over time. Informatics has assisted evolutionary biologists in several key ways. It has enabled researchers to trace the evolution of a large number of organisms by measuring changes in their DNA, rather than through physical taxonomy or physiological observations alone. More recently, compare entire genomes, which permits the study of more complex evolutionary events, such as gene duplication, horizontal gene transfer, and the prediction of factors important in bacterial speciation build complex computational models of populations to predict the outcome of the system over time, and 
track and share information on an increasingly large number of species and organisms. Future work endeavors to reconstruct the now more complex tree of life. The area of research within computer science that uses genetic algorithms is sometimes confused with computational evolutionary biology, but the two areas are not necessarily related. Section 2.4 Literature Analysis The growth in the number of published literature makes it virtually impossible to read every paper, resulting in disjointed subfields of research. Literature analysis aims to employ computational and statistical linguistics to mine this growing library of text resources. For example, abbreviation recognition identifies the long form and abbreviation of biological terms. Named entity recognition recognizes biological terms such as gene names. And protein-protein interaction identifies which proteins interact with which proteins from the text. This area of research draws from statistics and computational linguistics. Section 2.5 Analysis of Gene Expression The expression of many genes can be determined by measuring mRNA levels with multiple techniques, including microarrays, expressed cDNA sequence tag, EST, sequencing, serial analysis of gene expression, SAGE, tag sequencing, massively parallel signature sequencing, MPSS, RNA-seq, also known as whole transcriptone shotgun sequencing, WTSS, or various applications of multiplexed in situ hybridization. All of these techniques are extremely noise prone and are subject to bias in the biological measurement, and a major research area in computational biology involves developing statistical tools to separate signal from noise in high-throughput gene expression studies. Such studies are often used to determine the genes implicated in a disorder. One might compare microarray data from cancerous epithelial cells to data from non-cancerous cells to determine the transcripts that are up-regulated and down-regulated in a particular population of cancer cells. Section 2.6 Analysis of Regulation Regulation is the complex orchestration of events starting with an extracellular signal such as a hormone and leading to an increase or decrease in the activity of one or more proteins. Bioinformatics techniques have been applied to explore various steps in this process. For example, promoter analysis involves the identification and study of sequence motifs in the DNA surrounding the coding region of a gene. These motifs influence the extent to which that region is transcribed into mRNA. Expression data can be used to infer gene regulation. One might compare microarray data from a wide variety of states of an organism to form hypotheses about the genes involved in each state. In a single cell organism, one might compare stages of the cell cycle, along with various stress conditions, heat shock, starvation, etc. One can then apply clustering algorithms to that expression data to determine which genes are co-expressed. For example, the upstream regions, promoters, of co-expressed genes can be searched for overrepresented regulatory elements. Examples of clustering algorithms applied in gene clustering are k-means clustering, self-organizing maps, hierarchical clustering, and consensus clustering methods, such as the bi -COPM. The latter, namely bi -COPM, has been actually proposed to address various issues specific to gene discovery problems, such as consistent co-expression of genes over multiple microarray datasets. Section 2.7 Analysis of Protein Expression Protein microarrays and high-throughput HT, mass spectrometry MS, can provide a snapshot of the proteins present in a biological sample. Bioinformatics is very much involved in making sense of protein microarray and HT-MS data. The former approach faces similar problems as with microarrays targeted at mRNA, 
The latter involves the problem of matching large amounts of mass data against predicted masses from protein sequence databases, and the complicated statistical analysis of samples where multiple but incomplete peptides from each protein are detected. Section 2.8 Analysis of Mutations in Cancer In cancer, the genomes of affected cells are rearranged in complex or even unpredictable ways. Massive sequencing efforts are used to identify previously unknown point mutations in a variety of genes in cancer. Bioinformaticans continue to produce specialized automated systems to manage the sheer volume of sequence data produced, and they create new algorithms and software to compare the sequencing results to the growing collection of human genome sequences and germline polymorphisms. New physical detection technologies are employed, such as oligon nucleotide microarrays, to identify chromosomal gains and losses, called comparative genomic hybridization, and single nucleotide polymorphism arrays to detect known point mutations. These detection methods simultaneously measure several hundred thousand sites throughout the genome, and when used in high throughput to measure thousands of samples, generate terabytes of data per experiment. Again, the massive amounts of new types of data generate new opportunities for bioinformaticans. The data is often found to contain considerable variability, or noise, and thus hidden Markov model and change point analysis methods are being developed to infer real copy number changes. Another type of data that requires novel informatics development is the analysis of lesions, found to be recurrent among many tumors. Section 2.9 Comparative Genomics The core of comparative genome analysis is the establishment of the correspondence between genes, orthology analysis, or other genomic features in different organisms. It is these intergenomic maps that make it possible to trace the evolutionary processes responsible for the divergence of two genomes. A multitude of evolutionary events acting at various organizational levels shape genome evolution. At the lowest level, point mutations affect individual nucleotides. At a higher level, large chromosomal segments undergo duplication, lateral transfer, inversion, transposition, deletion, and insertion. Ultimately, whole genomes are involved in processes of hybridization, polyploidization, and endosymbiosis, often leading to rapid speciation. The complexity of genome evolution poses many exciting challenges to developers of mathematical models and algorithms who have recourse to a spectra of algorithmic, statistical, and mathematical techniques, ranging from exact, heuristics, fixed parameter, and approximation algorithms for problems based on parsimony models to Markov chain Monte Carlo algorithms for Bayesian analysis of problems based on probabilistic models. Many of these studies are based on the homology detection and protein families computation. Section 2.10 Network and Systems Biology Network analysis seeks to understand the relationships within biological networks, such as metabolic or protein-protein interaction networks. Although biological networks can be constructed from a single type of molecule or entity, such as genes, network biology often attempts to integrate many different data types, such as proteins, small molecules, gene expression data, and others, which are all connected physically and or functionally. Systems biology involves the use of computer simulations of cellular subsystems, such as the networks of metabolites and enzymes, which comprise metabolism, signal transduction pathways, and gene regulatory networks, to both analyze and visualize the complex connections of these cellular processes. Artificial life, or virtual evolution, attempts to understand evolutionary processes via the computer simulation of simple, artificial, life forms. Section 2.11 High-Throughput Image Analysis Computational technologies are used to accelerate or fully automate the processing, 
quantification and analysis of large amounts of high information content biomedical imagery. Modern image analysis systems augment an observer's ability to make measurements from a large or complex set of images by improving accuracy, objectivity, or speed. A fully developed analysis system may completely replace the observer. Although these systems are not unique to biomedical imagery, biomedical imaging is becoming more important for both diagnosis and research. Some examples are high throughput and high fidelity quantification and subcellular localization, high content screening, cytohistopathology, bioimage informatics. Morphometrics Clinical image analysis and visualization Determining the real-time airflow patterns in breathing lungs of living animals. Quantifying occlusion size in real-time imagery from the development of and recovery during arterial injury. Making behavioral observations from extended video recordings of laboratory animals. Infrared measurements for metabolic activity determination. Inferring clone overlaps in DNA mapping, for example, the Silston score. Section 2.12, Structural Bioinformatic Approaches. Section 2.12.1, Prediction of Protein Structure. Protein structure prediction is another important application of bioinformatics. The amino acid sequence of a protein, the so-called primary structure, can be easily determined from the sequence on the gene that codes for it. In the vast majority of cases, this primary structure uniquely determines a structure in its native environment. Of course, there are exceptions, such as the bovine spongiform encephalopathy, aka mad cow disease, prion. Knowledge of this structure is vital in understanding the function of the protein. For lack of better terms, structural information is usually classified as one of secondary, tertiary, and quaternary structure. A viable general solution to such predictions remains an open problem. As of now, most efforts have been directed towards heuristics that work most of the time. One of the key ideas in bioinformatics is the notion of homology. In the genomic branch of bioinformatics, homology is used to predict the function of a gene. If the sequence of gene A, whose function is known, is homologous to the sequence of gene B, whose function is unknown, one can infer that B may share A's function. In the structural branch of bioinformatics, homology is used to determine which parts of a protein are important in structure formation and interaction with other proteins. In a technique called homology modeling, this information is used to predict the structure of a protein once the structure of a homologous protein is known. This currently remains the only way to predict protein structures reliably. One example of this is the similar protein homology between hemoglobin in humans and the hemoglobin in legumes, leg hemoglobin. Both serve the same purpose of transporting oxygen in the organism. Though both of these proteins have completely different amino acid sequences, their protein structures are virtually identical, which reflects their near identical purposes. Other techniques for predicting protein structure include protein threading and de novo from scratch, physics-based modeling. Section 2.12.2 .2, Molecular Interaction Efficient software is available today for studying interactions among proteins, ligands, and peptides. Types of interaction most often encountered in the field include protein-ligand, including drug, protein-protein, and protein-peptide. Molecular dynamic simulation of movement of atoms about rotatable bonds is the fundamental principle behind computational algorithms, termed docking algorithms, for studying molecular interactions. Section 2.12.2.1 Docking Algorithms In the last two decades, tens of thousands of protein three-dimensional structures have been determined by X-ray crystallography 
and protein nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy, protein NMR. One central question for the biological scientist is whether it is practical to predict possible protein-protein interactions only based on these 3D shapes, without doing protein-protein interaction experiments. A variety of methods have been developed to tackle the protein-protein docking problem, though it seems there is still much work to be done in this field. Section 3. Software and Tools Software tools for bioinformatics range from simple command line tools to more complex graphical programs and standalone web services available from various bioinformatics companies or public institutions. Section 3.1 Open Source Bioinformatics Software Many free and open source software tools have existed and continued to grow since the 1980s. The combination of a continued need for new algorithms for the analysis of emerging types of biological readouts, the potential for innovative in silico experiments, and freely available open code bases have helped to create opportunities for all research groups to contribute to both bioinformatics and the range of open source software available, regardless of their funding arrangements. The open source tools often act as incubators of ideas, or community-supported plugins in commercial applications. They may also provide de facto standards and shared object models for assisting with the challenge of bioinformation integration. The range of open source software packages includes titles such as BioConductor, BioPerl, BioJava, BioRuby, BioClips, Emboss, Taverna Workbench, and Eugene. In order to maintain this tradition and create further opportunities, the nonprofit Open Bioinformatics Foundation have supported the annual Bioinformatics Open Source Conference, or BOSC, since 2000. Section 3.2 Web Services in Bioinformatics SOAP and REST based interfaces have been developed for a wide variety of bioinformatics applications allowing an application running on one computer in one part of the world to use algorithms, data, and computing resources on servers in other parts of the world. The main advantages derive from the fact that end users do not have to deal with software and database maintenance overheads. Basic bioinformatics services are classified by the EBI into three categories. SSS, Sequence Search Services, MSA, Multiple Sequence Alignment, and BSA, Biological Sequence Analysis. The availability of these service-oriented bioinformatics resources demonstrate the applicability of web-based bioinformatics solutions and range from a collection of standalone tools with a common data format under a single standalone or web-based interface to integrative, distributed, and extensible Bioinformatics Workflow Management Systems Section 3.3 Bioinformatics Workflow Management Systems A bioinformatics workflow management system is a specialized form of a workflow management system designed specifically to compose and execute a series of computational or data manipulation steps or workflow in a bioinformatics application. Such systems are designed to provide an easy-to-use environment for individual application scientists themselves to create their workflows, provide interactive tools for the scientists, enabling them to execute their workflows and view their results in real time, simplify the process of sharing and reusing workflows between the scientists, and enable scientists to track the provenance of the workflow execution results and the workflow creation steps. Currently, there are at least four platforms giving this service. Galaxy, Kepler, Taverna, and Anderil. Section 3.4 Rosalind Rosalind is an educational resource and web project for learning bioinformatics through problem solving and computer programming. Rosalind users learn bioinformatics concepts 
through a problem tree that builds up biological, algorithmic, and programming knowledge concurrently. Each problem is checked automatically, allowing for the project to also be used for automated homework testing in existing classes. Rosalind is a joint project between the University of California at San Diego and St. Petersburg Academic University, along with the Russian Academy of Sciences. The project's name commemorates Rosalind Franklin, whose X-ray crystallography with Raymond Gosling facilitated the discovery of the DNA double helix by James D. Watson and Francis Crick. It was recognized by Humalog.us as the best educational resource of 2012 in their review of the top bioinformatics contributions of 2012. As of June 2013, it hosts over 8,000 problem solvers. Rosalind will be used to teach the first bioinformatics algorithms course on Coursera in 2013. Section 4. Conferences. There are several large conferences that are concerned with bioinformatics. Some of the most notable examples are Intelligent Systems for Molecular Biology, European Conference on Computational Biology, Research in Computational Molecular Biology, and American Society of Mass Spectrometry. You have just finished listening to Bioinformatics from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. This recording was last updated on September 20th, 2013. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution ShareLike 3.0 Unported License, available at creativecommons.org slash licenses slash by dash sa slash 3.0.